Tears of the Kingdom is on the verge of releasing, and I have full faith in it to be a full and complete game, but with a launch price of $70 and very little information given so far, I have one wish above all the others. Don't make DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. Back before Breath of the Wild even released, they announced the expansion pass. And with the expansion, it gave us Master Mode, featuring harder enemies, enemy rafts, and gold-type enemies. It also gave us the Trial of the Sword, an enemy gauntlet where, when finished, rewards you with a fully powered Master Sword. And finally, the Champion's Ballad campaign, which brings 16 more shrines and additional Divine Beast. The expansion pass was easily worth the $20 to play it, but even on launch day as people were playing Breath of the Wild, they knew the game wouldn't truly be finished until the end of the year. And that's my first issue, especially if they announce the DLC before the game releases. If I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom and I know I'm going to be missing out on a huge chunk of the story, it's going to feel just as agonizing as it was just waiting for the game to release. If they do end up announcing DLC, they at least need to announce it after the game releases, or else I'm sure Nintendo will be ripped head to toe since people are already upset about the lack of information shown. But I go into this more on my video about whether Nintendo is spoiling Tears of the Kingdom or not, so check out that one after this. Continuing on, I feel that with a DLC, it leads to the base game feeling incomplete in hindsight. Now, this is something totally dependent on the type of DLC, but no matter what, when a DLC exists, it causes the launch prints of the game to be missing a portion of the game. And when servers for the eShop eventually go offline, as we're seeing happening with the Wii U and 3DS in the coming days, it becomes nearly impossible to get the DLC through legal methods. And in a similar vein, adding another $20 to $30 to the already overpriced game will put people more off from buying the game. Or if they do manage to buy it, they might not be able to afford the DLC, which leads to them experiencing a lesser experience than someone who could afford the full game. And that might be my biggest issue with Breath of the Wild's DLC in particular. Champion's Ballad specifically was one of the best quests in the entire game and hands down had the best boss. Far better than any Blight Ganon and especially Calamity Ganon. This is what I fear in having DLC in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, Obviously, I want the best they can design to be in the game, and if I had a choice between having Monk Moss Kosha or another Blight Ganon, I would absolutely choose to have Kosha. But I want the best to be available for everyone who buys the game. No purchase necessary, no waiting 7 months to finish the game. And now for my last argument. Tears of the Kingdom was announced in 2019 and delayed in 2022 to release in 2023. Breath of the Wild was announced in 2013 and delayed twice before releasing finally in 2017. I've had a thought recently about these. During development, developers will work on specific features, adding more and more, until they might get to the point where they decide everything they want in the final game. After more development, they'll set a deadline, and that's when they start cutting content so they'll fit into the deadline. This is what happened with the second quest with the playable Zelda and Skyward Sword. If the developers still don't have enough time, that's often when they should delay a game. Now, obviously, some games still don't have it finished by their delayed time and need a few more delays. Finally, once they've whittled down enough to have a full game, it's ready to release. But then, what do you do with the leftover shavings? Well, that's when we get DLC and sequels. Clearly, after Breath of the Wild's DLC, they still felt like they could do more with the scraps and shavings and started developing the sequel. And that game's big enough to warrant its own delay. And DLC just means that there's more they couldn't finish in time. Now, I would much rather have an entire game all together in one cartridge that everyone could enjoy but I understand that if they kept delaying the game until they had absolutely every bit of content they wanted, then the game would never come out. Then there's the other aspect of DLC profitability, and developers will always want more money. And that's something we have to accept now. Would things have been different back when Satoru Iwata was still president? Perhaps, but we'll never know. And now Nintendo is more successful than ever, and DLC is just another thing they'll keep doing. Should you protest the DLC and avoid buying it? Probably not. I mean, do whatever you enjoy. And I believe even if there is DLC, this game will be fun and the DLC will just be more fun. At this point, we can only hope that this game isn't the new standard for Nintendo. As much as they might say this isn't the new price standard, you can't always believe the mega tech giant. But anyways, that's really all I have to say. By all means, I want the best game possible and I just wish DLC wasn't a part of that. But money always wins. Now we just gotta convince Nintendo to let us buy ROMs of older console games. Oh, the day when that comes.